What's up guys? Have you ever wondered what exactly this means? Anyway, Dow Industrial's biggest one-day drop since January, down 473, 1.7%, 25,965. The Nasdaq slipped 159 points, nearly 2%, 7963. The S&P 500 slipped 48 points, 1.6%. The Dow, the S&P 500, and the Nasdaq. These are what we call stock market indexes, and they provide a great snapshot of how the overall market is doing. But these indexes aren't just the best way to track the overall market. They also present the best low maintenance option for building wealth over time. Each of these main indexes has a companion ETF or exchange traded fund. The Dow has the DIA, the S&P 500 has the SPY, and the NASDAQ has the QQQ. When you buy a share of one of these ETFs, what you're actually buying is a partial share of all the companies within that index. Each of these ETFs can be bought and sold just like individual stocks, and they are immediately diversified because they're spread out between all these different companies. So let's take a look at how each of these ETFs perform in the stock market. First, we're gonna look at the DIA, which is the Dow Jones ETF. And as you can see, it overall performs pretty well. It's got a 6.07% one year total return. Now let's move on over to the SPY, which is again the S&P 500 ETF. And you can see that it produces a 6.87% total return for one year. Now finally, let's go to the QQQ, which is the NASDAQ ETF. And as you can see, it produces the best overall performance each year with the 8.62% one year total return. So from these numbers, I would say that the QQQ represents the best overall investment. But I think the SPY also is worth considering just because it's invested in 500 companies versus 100 companies. So it's just that little bit more diversified in the stock market. So now let's see how these numbers actually come into play over the long term. For this hypothetical situation, we're gonna say we're 25 currently and we're gonna want to retire at age 65. So our investments are gonna have 40 years to grow. We're also going to say we have initially $10,000 to start from, and each year we're going to set aside $5,000 more to add more shares of our chosen ETF. So first we're going to do the SPY, which had a 6.87 annual return on average, and you can see that by age 40, you'll have become a millionaire using this simple strategy. But with the QQQ, the results are even better because you've got that slightly larger return on average. So we've got 8.62% annual return, and you can see that that almost doubles our money over that 40 years. So this exercise really just shows the power of long-term investing in the stock market and how you can make compound interest work for you. Um, I hope through this video, you learned a little bit more about ETFs and what they actually are. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys in future videos.